Welcome back. Now for the 21 year old Manju Bhashini collecting various forms of Ganapati idols is top on her daily activity. Till now it has crossed 2000 and is still going on. She started the task of gathering at times buying Vinayaga idols uh, since 2008. This after an accident in Palakkad when she had fallen and was lucky that the Ganapati dollar saved her. Her friends, relatives, everyone have been presenting her some form of this idol, so her passion has now become somewhat a priority. What began as a hobby has now developed into an obsession. Her house near the Rose Garden in Uti attracts young and old all through the year, so it's around the year Chaturthi. Well, silk considered uh, to be the queen of textiles is the most elegant and lustrous material. However, do we realize that we employ the most brutal methods including boiling of silkworms for just a pound of silk? Well, Bhavana Bhutta did and she has started her own boutique, Sahagika, that showcases Ahimsa silk products. Here's the story of her cause that she has set her heart on overcoming all odds including multiple disabilities. My colleague Janani Sampath tracks the life of this inspirational person. She can hardly speak and can't do many of the things that you and I can automatically. Yet her life and mission speaks volumes. Bhavna, a graduate from Etiraj College, has just opened her own boutique that sells only Ahimsa silk. She wanted to be an entrepreneur for a long time and then uh, she worked and found out a little survey she did and found out on, from the net that there is Ahimsa silk and uh, there is a demand for Ahimsa silk. Then she conducted a survey, asked people, she found there is a demand and very little supply. The collection is here very good. And, um, it's a, I think it's Ahimsa silk, so, so nothing much of that uh, worms are not killed. That's what I came to know, so I thought I'll buy some. Weaving a community of interdependence among the marginalized is not easy. But by procuring the material from tribal weavers in Jharkhand, Bhavna is proving that any obstacle can be worked at and overcome. Mr. Kusma Rajaya, who is a pioneer who has invented Ahimsa silk, he uh, was willing to give his product. So that is how the product, I mean, we get, we source it from Jharkhand and from Kusma Rajaya. These are the two places we get. And uh, the, in Jharkhand, what is uh, really uh, interesting for her, what she said was how the Jharkhand government goes about working with the tribals, looking at the all-round uh, holistic development of the uh, tribals. Bhavna has an alert disability to come in the way of an environmental cause. Here's an entrepreneur with a conscience. We wish her all the best. With camera person Madan, Janani Sampath for NDTV Hindu. Well, on to some national news. Will Jammu and Kashmir see a Tamil Nadu-like move on the death penalty? An independent MLA from Kashmir has submitted a resolution seeking pardon for parliament attack convict Afzal Guru. This after the Tamil Nadu Assembly passed a resolution urging president to reconsider the mercy plea of convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination facing the death sentence. This issue will now be debated in the Jammu and Kashmir State Assembly later this month. I have decided to move a resolution seeking amnesty for Muhammad Afzal Guru. It's the most contentious resolution the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly will have to discuss later this month. A resolution that seeks pardon for parliament attack convict Afzal Guru. Independent MLA from North Kashmir, Engineer Rashid, has moved the resolution taking a cue from the Tamil Nadu Assembly demanding clemency for three men convicted in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case. Rashid says although he condemns the attack on parliament, any decision to hang Afzal Guru will have serious repercussions on the situation in Kashmir. I have full faith in the judicial system of the country. I have full faith in the Supreme Court. 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 I
آئینی نظام پہ وہ جو ہمارا وہ سسٹم چلتا ہے اس پہ بھروسہ ہے لیکن یہ بھی صحیح ہے کہ جو اس کے نتائج ہیں آپ ان پر بھی دیکھ لیں تھنک یو ہیو ٹو تھوڑا خدا کے لیے اسے ہٹ کے سوچیے گا کہ اس کے کیا کیا ڈائمنشنز ہیں اس کے کیا کیا پھر اثرات مرتب ہوں گے دا لارجسٹ اپوزیشن پارٹی اف دا اسٹیٹ دا پی ڈی پی ہیز بیکڈ راشد ریزولیوشن اوبویسلی اینی بڈی برنگنگ ان دا ریزولیوشن ان دا اسمبلی وی ول سپورٹ اٹ اینڈ بٹ وی ووڈ لائک دا چیف منسٹر ہم سیلف ٹو برنگ دس ریزولیوشن ٹو دا ہاؤس بیکاز ہی ہیز دا میجورٹی اینڈ ہی ہیز ریکٹ اپ دس ایشو Chief Minister Omar Abdullah stirred the debate after tweeting whether the response would be as muted if the JNK Assembly had followed in the footsteps of the Tamil Nadu Assembly. While Omar defended his tweet, he says supporting or opposing the resolution will have to be decided by his party. It is not my place to answer for the national conference. I am neither the spokesman nor the party president. Uh, therefore, this would obviously be a question for the national conference that I'm sure they will begin to address as the session comes closer. The debate around an assembly resolution for Abdul Guru is no longer hypothetical. All the political parties will have to walk a very fine tight rope, balancing street sentiment with the legal process. But many say the example was set not by Kashmir, but by Tamil Nadu in the south. In Sri Nagar, Nazir Masudi, Finally TV. A US diplomatic cable leaked by WikiLeaks reveals that what US ambassador thought of Rahul Gandhi after the young Congress leader met him to discuss the UNSC seat for India. The cable says, and I quote, Rahul Gandhi is clearly interested in reaching out to the US government in the past. He was an elusive contact, but this is the third substantial meeting that he has had with the ambassador since late July. The US ambassador had told Rahul Gandhi that India was low voting coincidence with United States. The two leaders had also discussed Naxalism and the UPA flagship scheme of NREGA. Now the cracks deepening in Team Anna speaking to Sonia Singh on NDTV's Your Call, Kiran Bedi has said that Swami Agnivesh has to come clean as he was almost like a mole in the group reporting things to Kapil Sibyl. She also spoke about the criticism she was facing. Did the criticism hurt? The ones who said that you're doing this for personal publicity, the ones who said that as, uh, the point I just made that Anna Hazare would have called off his fast much earlier, even Swami Agnivesh, that uh, CD which shows him saying this on the phone, he's come in, stu- in the, our television studios and said that, you know, if Kiran Bedi and Arvind Kejriwal weren't there, the fast would have been over by now. If you go by Mr. Uh, uh, Agnivesh, I think then you better let it be. If you're going by Mr. Agnivesh's words, then let it be. Because I think he, he enough... He has to now establish his credibility in view of what has got exposed, that he was a direct link between he and Mr. Sibyl. That means he was almost like a mole in the whole group. And there were, there were allegations all along, but we kept trusting him. Now I think he has to come out clean. When he asked me, what should I do? I said, go to the police, lodge an FIR against what, that you were a part, uh, you were a link between, because he's been caught on the camera talking to Mr. Sibyl to say, aap inko dehi ja rahe ho? बहुत हो गई अब तो इनको तोड़ देनी चाहिए थी जय हो जय हो कपिल जी जय हो महाराज बहुत जरूरी है कपिल जी नहीं तो ये तो पागल की तरह हो रहे हैं जैसे कोई हाथी I don't know why, what, 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 what conscience he was being with us. I think he, if you're going by him, then I think let's drop it. Well, after Prashant Bhushan and Arvind Kejriwal, another member of Team Anna has received a notice by Parliament for breach of privilege. That's Kiran Bedi. On Saturday, Prashant Bhushan had sent his response to the Rajya Sabha. His father, Shanti Bhushan, has said the op- option of moving court will also be considered by the team. Now, the CBI has taken over investigations into the Shehla Masood murder case. They visited the RTI activists office in Bhopal. Another six-member team of investigators is going from Delhi to Bhopal. Three weeks after RTI activist Shehla Masood was murdered in Bhopal, the CBI has taken over the probe and registered a case against unnamed people. The CBI took over the case from Madhya Pradesh police after the Shivraj Singh Chauhan government asked the centre for a CBI probe. Shehla was shot dead in a car outside her residence on August 16th. Now, in our continuing series, we have seen how crores of rupees are embezzled by manufacturers and how workers are exploited. 
But isn't it isn't just the big owners who earn big money by bending the rules? A key link in the BD supply chain is the satyadar, the middleman who cheats BD rollers ruthlessly to build his own mini empire. BD is being baked in the middle of the night, just before packaging, in an illegal factory in Sagar, the hub of the BD industry in Madhya Pradesh. The factory is run by a satyadar or a subcontractor the man who coordinates beady making on the ground. This middleman supplies raw material like tendu leaves, tobacco and thread to beady workers and collects beady packets each day for manufacturers. In return, he gets a small commission. But his real income is from this factory. Every day, lakhs of beadies make their way to the black market from here. Since the region is drought prone, the tendu leaf quality is poor. But the satyadar's rates for tendu leaves continue to be 50 rupees per kilo. BD workers are supposed to get 47 rupees for every thousand BDs rolled, but they actually get less than 25 rupees. 50 rupees kilo patti kaatte hain jab tendu patta, 80 rupees kilo tamaku kaatte hain aur 6 katta hai jab panja se bidi le jaate ke naabe, to 6 katta ye 1000 rupees kati leet hain. Moreover, citing poor quality, the satyadar rejects between 20 to 50 percent of the beedis made, which they sell as unbranded beedis and pocket the profit. Manufacturers don't intervene because the satyadar helps to keep costs really low. And both join hands to cheat workers for their welfare support. The government deducts 5 rupees per day per worker from the manufacturer for social security. But since the Satyada registers only 8 to 10 workers out of 100 families who roll beedies for one middleman, the manufacturer pays a small sum to the government. Out of 12 lakh beedie workers in Madhya Pradesh, only 2 lakh are registered with the government, which means the welfare fund loses 50 lakh rupees daily. At a time when the nation is fighting against corruption at all levels, at a time when the nation is fighting against corruption at all levels, the brazen money making done by the BD industry is going unpunished. In Sagar, Mohua Chaudhary for NDTV. Well, it's time to slip into a short break, but up ahead on the other side, we get you all the news from the world of sports and Serena Williams is back with a bang at the US Open.